Hello and welcome to Raise this tournament. Here we will be having a 10 round session of duos uh, scrims inside of my creative map Raises Endgame Simulator. This map uh, contains weapons from various seasons and this will be testing to see who is the best at end games. Up on screen right now you can see our teams and basically to move on out of qualifiers one which is what we are going to be showing today you must get top one two or three if you place first you get moved on to the uh, finals without even having to play um, qualifiers two or three and each qualifier session the top team gets sent up to the top and there will be and then second is the same thing and then third you get sent on to the next qualifiers to have a chance at making it again so if you were to get third you would be able you would be basically um what's it called you'd be competing as a duo again inside of the next tournament which will be whenever that is so hopefully all of our teams have fun and hopefully you have fun watching this so thank you and here is our before montages of before the tournament. All right, guys, welcome to the interview of before the tournament. So, Eggroll, how do you think you and your duo are gonna do during this tournament? My cock's long here. Um, I think we're gonna do, you know, skippity doo dah on the day. If you know what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right. So, who is your duo? I don't know. Your duo is P3PO. I don't know if you. Oh, we're gonna lose! <laughs> I mean, this uh, is great. Alright, I like the positive energy there. Good, um, yeah. Get me out of here. Alright. Alright, hello. So, we're here with Scythe Star. His duo is gonna be Mo Rolex. And so, Star, how do you think that you and your duo are gonna do in this tournament? I don't know, we play a lot together, um, we're actually Arena Trios partners as well, so I think we have chemistry, I think I'm a little scared of all the teams, I mean, every team has that player that can randomly just pop off at any time. Yeah, so, do you think that you guys are going to be taking home the dub, or do you think that another team is? I don't know, I mean, I think we can take home the dub, we just have to make sure our communication's on point, and then you gotta watch out for, I forget his name sometimes, sorry, my bad. Okay. But you gotta watch out for Peter. That guy's a beast. And base I mean, you gotta basically watch all your sides. Everybody in an instant can just get you down. Yeah. So. So what do you think y'all's game plan is gonna be? I think a, uh, I don't want to reveal that right now. We're gonna okay. save that for later. Okay. And then I'll interview you after after the um after the tournament's over and we can see how your predictions went on. So what do you, what do you think is gonna be? What do you think is gonna happen during the tournament? Do you guys think what place do y'all think y'all are gonna get? Like, I think how many teams are six? Correct. Yes, there's six teams. I think if we can get some kills, you know, if we can get like enough third party kills, mm -hmm. we should be able to easily make top three. Okay. Now I will admit, like I said, the PVPO team that's great. Um, I mean, I think every team is basically a contender. Let me check the list again. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, yeah, P3PO and Egg Roll, that's probably them, Tiger, I mean, I don't see a single team on here that doesn't have a shot at winning, mm -hmm. to be honest, so I think we can place top, th so like, yeah, so there's basically 10 rounds and you're only gonna, so whoever gets the most wins, yeah, okay, I think top 3 is doable, I think every team though will get at least one win. Yeah. And then after that one win for every team, it just comes down to who got the most. So, like, mm -hmm. basically four games will be what it comes down to. Yeah. Right, I mean, well, that's what I got to say on that. Yep. Well, thank you for giving me your time and interviewing you. I guess I'll see you at around 8, 8.20 whenever we start getting the lobby full. Okay, sounds good. All right, see you then. All right, guys. So, you guys ready for the tournament? Heck yeah. yeah. All yeah, right. gotta oh. take it on. Yeah, I forgot to mention that I'm here with Boar Golden and Boar Vitamins, representing the Team Vortex. Y'all can Woo! go check them out if y'all want to. Just yeah. friend them, and then y'all can go check them out. Maybe try out for their teams. So, 
what's y'all's game plan? This this isn't going to be revealed to anyone. Uh, you don't have to reveal it if you don't want to, but this isn't going to be shown to anyone know. yet. Well, uh, basically our game plan is like probably stay on low ground because uh -huh. usually that's where it gets more hectic. Like high ground is more where it's getting more hectic. Yeah. You all just have to be yeah, watching out for those like yeah. low ground teams because I know there's like a couple of them in there, like the uh, yeah pods this team. That's a yeah, good, they're pretty that's bad. A good team. Just kidding. <laughs> so, y'all think y'all are gonna take home the trophy? Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So, y'all have any y'all have any stuff y'all want to say during the interview? To our team Vortex, we are uh, accepting members at all times. All right. Let's go. Team Four, Vort Clay, baby. All right, and let's see. Will y'all see them? And we'll, do you think that we'll see you guys in the next tournament? Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you all for giving me your time. Vortex on top. Whew. All right. Yeah. Thank you. I'm spectating Mo Rolex. Let's see. How does he do? He takes off. All right. Let's see. Where's he going? Where's he going? All right. All right. Oh, he's going for the. He's going for the AR laser shot. Oh, and he lasers him. 44, 39. Let's see. Alright, so it looks like he's with his teammate right now. Let's see what they're planning to do. Are they gonna storm camp? They just got ripped to go twice! Oh, they gotta get out of there! Oh my! Alright, let's see. And they are pushing for height, it looks like. Going for Rylan, but misses the shot! 44, oh, and got knocked out by Fall. That is a rip for Rylan. They have lost the play. Ooh, oh! Oh, Egg Roll just got knocked out by Fall. Let's see. 11 players left in circle. Going down. Mo Rolex playing strategically on mid height. Side Star on height. Egg Roll just did not stick the landing. Is dead once again. Side Star going down for the drop, misses a shot, and takes the- Oh my! What's gonna happen to Side Star? Let's see. Uses chug splashes. Alright, Mo Rolex looks like he is trapped in the storm, oh taking a lot of damage. Oh Looks like both Big he Fox and his team are, are pretty right now. Let's see. Hey. Side star. Let's see. Hold up. Take a moment. Come on, go out. Come on, go out. All these rags bumming in. And they bumming in. Hold up. All eyes on me. Come on, go out. Can I stop coming in? Come in. Oh, Eric. Let's see. Oh, and side star and low rolling. Clear out the first. Spectating Mo Rolex once again and Side Star. Side Star with the baller tactic, trying to survive until that end game with his baller. He is doing the baller tactic. He's just grappling around, not being <laughs> not being sneaky with his baller whatsoever. All right, let's see. Oh, hopped out of his baller. Let's see, what is he gonna try and do? Let's see, Psy Star and Mo Rolex. Some of the more strategic players in here. Let's see, what are they gonna do? It looks like they're trying to play passive right now and not go for kills. Which is working out for them, it seems like. The real question is, is, will it work out for them eventually? They've gotten a whole bunch of fish, a whole bunch of chug splashes, a whole bunch of mats. Let's go, speaking of mats, let's go see. How is, uh, Mo Rolex not looking too good on his wooden brick, but met, they're, they're both met of their medals are pretty good and stacked. 
let's see. Looks like both of the painter skins are on top once again. It's trying to secure the dub. What is going on down there? Six players left in circle. Let's see. Our can Mo Rolex and Scythe Star pull this off once again and get another dub. Here they go. Looks like they're getting rushed on height. Oh, Mo Rolex going for a peak shot but cannot find anything to shoot at. Are they getting broken down? I don't know. Let's see. Pushing low. Oh, and they see another team. Mo Rolex shooting his teammate down into the sharp teeth of the other team. Let's see. Six players still alive. I don't know where they are, but they're somewhere. Oh, shots are being fired. Oh, 38 headshot on Mew Rocks. Let's see. Or otherwise known as War Mew, representing Vortex Clan inside of this tournament. Alright, Mo Rolex and Scythe Star. Still stuck on height. They're not coming down, but they're not going up either. Let's see. What is going on down there? I wish that I could see what's going on. But luckily for y'all, y'all have replay. Oh, someone just took 31 fall damage down there. Looks like they are rushing. Let's see. Ooh, and here comes the fast zone. The zone that'll clear everyone out on low. And it looks like Scythe Star and Mo Rolex may have another win on their hands. Ooh, they're dropping down. Oh, and they have a grappler down there. Let's see. Oh, but they're trapped by the tree. Oh, Mo Rolex's teammate just caught him out. No, oh my. <laughs> this is insane. Let's see. Dropping down. Can they secure the double? And they are getting sprayed. Let's see. Will Mo Rolex have time to pop a heal? Let's go check on Scythe Star. Both really weak. Valley. Oh! Scythe Star. One pump. Let's see. This is it. This is the final battle. Chug splashes. Looks like Mo Rolex just has the better heals. Oh, and Mo Rolex and Scythe Star clutch it up with another win. Let's see, that makes two wins for them. Clutch it up. Here they go. P3PO, a new uh, a new sight for sore eyes of watching two big men royales, one after another. Let's see, oh, a team already eliminated. It looks like Rylan and Caden's team. Let's see, here they go. P3PO with the rocket launcher. Let's go see how Egg Roll is doing. Egg roll up on height with the junk riffs. What's gonna happen with those junk riffs? Did egg roll get anything with those junk riffs? No. Let's see. Oh, sneaking up behind the rocks. 24 damage body shot. That is nice to see. Let's see. Ooh. He evade with the cone edit. Let's see. Is he going to assist his teammate? Pete Drippio knocked himself out. Will egg roll play it out to end game or will he rush? Ooh, I don't think they know that. Egg Roll has the junk rift. What's gonna happen with it? Oh, Egg Roll with a side pants porta potty elim. Oh my, that, that is a good smart play for end game. But it may have cost them in the zone with a lot of HP taken off of his health bar. Ooh, a storm flip going on down there. I wonder what that's. I wonder who's using that. Egg roll with the with the campfire having to leave his campfire last second to go and try and secure his top placement as he can. Let's see. Egg roll is running low on mats, only around 530 builds left. Let's 
see who is on low ground that egg roll oh it is side star mo rolex egg roll takes lots of fall damage as oh and here comes the clearing storm i think nope not the clearing storm but a very deadly storm indeed with how fast it is moving this one could be detrimental to the people on low ground if they do not have good mats or as a duo let's see i hear launch pads going off all down on low ground egg roll on height above everyone else with only nine builds left hey what is going on vormu knocks himself out here he goes this is going to be an intense storm egg roll almost got trapped in the storm and dead right there let's see 33 hp can oh side star knocked out let's see can egg roll clutch it up at the end game get away from me if i was you why what would you say to me snakes on my bed won't let with me side star lost in storm egg roll died to fall because he ran out of oh who won mo rolex and side star with another victory I think that egg roll could have clutched that up if he didn't die to fall. Oh, back spectating egg roll and side egg and P3PO. Let's see, come on. Looks like P3PO is going for this llama. All right, what is going to be in this llama? Ooh, lots of essential items. Egg roll, oh, P3PO picks up the grappler. Let's see. Picks up the two junk rifts. Ooh, chucks one jumper, chucks the other, goes back in for his grappler. Oh, he knocks himself out with his own junk rip. Oh, that's a rip. I think that may have cost that team that placement. Let's see. Back spectating Scythe Star and Mo Rolex clutching it up let's see if they can secure this spot then and then they win it if they can get four wins then they can secure their top placement let's see if they can get four wins then they are the top players and they at least qualify for the top three watch no they're top three anyways so they already have secured their top at spot top three. Oh, mo rolex let's see did he take any fall damage from that no fall damage whatsoever. Egg roll looks like he is clutching it up from the kill speed. Let's see. Mo Rolex and Scythe Star up on top. Can they get this dub? This is what we need to find out. Are they capable of getting every single win? Let's see. Oh, places a campfire. I don't know what that was for. Maybe just to clear inventory space? Gives the other campfire to Mo Rolex. Let's see. Can they secure this dub? Let's go check Mo Rolex's heals. Mo Rolex looks like he is going to be the team heal off person. Ooh, a slow moving storm for a slow paced end game. Let's see. It looks like Scythe Star is contemplating rushing down there, but he decides it better not to rush. Let's see, five people still alive in this tiny zone. What's going to be going on? Let's see. Scythe Star may be contemplating going down there for the builds. Ooh. Looks like Scythe Star. Never mind. He thought the better of it. He sees the builds. He's dropping down for the builds. Picks up the band, Izuka. Goes back up. It looks like he's going to drop it off to his teammate. But gets trapped by his own builds. Ooh. He's taking some decent damage. Let's just see. I think that Scythe Star and Mo Rolex will win once again. Oh, 
Mo Rolex takes 95 fall damage. Let's see. Ms. Star does not know what to do with his bandy cannon. Mo Rolex dead to storm. Can if Star gonna have the same thing happen to him? Oh my. Star gets the. Let's see. Who is down there? Who is that? We'll Star clutch it up. Two people left in the Star and Belt. Oh! A new winner! Who is this? This is Podzuff and Ryland's team. Alright, let's see. Oh, let's see, who is that? I think that may be Mo Rolla or Side Star, the two controller players up on height, lasering Side P3PO. What is P3PO gonna do? Where is he going? Egg Roll looks like he's going to save his teammate from a would be fatal death by two of the top players inside of this lobby. Egg Roll and P3PO are now using what it looks like Star and Mo Rolex's strategy to stay on high ground and camp it until the end. Oh, let's see. It looks like whoever that is is dead to storm unless they have good heals and a way of getting out of there. It's like someone's not yet, but, but they don't realize that someone's gliding in. Oh, they didn't glide on top of them. Let's see. Oh, shotgun 63 widened. Let's see. Can they secure the? Oh, can they secure the kill? P2 viewers that knocked out by fall again for like the second round in a row. Oh no, this could be bad. Let's see. Can Echo clutch it up without his teammate there to help assist in the kill? Ooh, dodges that shot by barely anything. Looks like he's contemplating for the baller. The baller was taken from him. Oh, oh, that would have been an almost detrimental fall. Looks like someone's baller just got knocked out from another. Ooh, is he gonna go for that baller? No, he's not. I don't think he realizes that there's build straight to the left of him. More vitamins lost in storm. Five people remaining. Who are these top five players inside of this circle? Four golden lost in storm as the battles continue down on the low ground. Ooh, he's going, oh, didn't pick up the heels. It's too late now. There's a launch pad and plenty of mats, let's go picked up all of the mats that he could find and who's that it's mo rolex and scythe star on the mid ground once again yeah, I see you got oh there he's getting rushed he has to get out of there or else he's gonna be dead meat the mo rolex and scythe stars Raining terror on this lobby. He just got shotgun in the back. Plenty of heals to make it out of in game alive. And side pants lost in the soul. Another spectating round of Mo Rolux and Scythe Star. Let's see how this round plays out. Tiger Crusher knocks Boar Golden, eliminates Boar Golden from the kill feed. Boar Golden is now spectating Mo Rolex and Scythe Star, which you are pushing height.
see. So they have Mo Rolex and Sci Star already secured their spot in first. Let's see. Three kills on Mo Rolex and four kills on Star. That is seven kills in total. Oh no. Looks like both of them just got knocked out by the Junk Rift. Oh, that is that is crazy. Scythe the Egg Roll and Scythe P3PO up on height. Can they stick this rev? Will it work? Let's see. Four seconds left. Three, two, one. Oh. Let's see. Egg roll and P3PO. Can they clutch this last win and secure their spot in the final? They switched their ARs. Didn't know what they were doing with that. So let's see. P3 Pio with zero kills and Egg Roll with two kills. Up on height. Let's see. Looks like they're pulling a Star Mo Rolex tactic. Let's see. Are they getting contested at height? Is that someone up on height? There is no way that someone is up on height that snuck up around. Who is that down there? They're getting sprayed out, whoever they are. 150 HP on P3PO, 100 100 on Egg Roll. Both running somewhat low on mats. Oh, just kidding. P3PO, lots of mats. Let's see. Storm, another day is rotating. All right. Let's see how is this? How is this map just going? All right. Ooh, I can hear footsteps. What is? It? Oh, they better start running because here comes the fast moving zone. Looks like they are stuck down there. Egg roll. Oh, P3PO goes for that launch pad. That is a clutch move. Will it save him? Oh, landed at height. Oh, 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 almost took the fall damage. Yeah. Here it comes. Hey. Full up roll. One down. Almost two down. Egg roll. And P3PO secure the dub on round six. Let's see. What will be going on here? Alright, Psy Star and Mo Rolex. Trying to secure their spot at high ground once again, but going for the heals. Let's see. It looks like they are staying somewhat low compared to what they usually do. Oh, never mind. There they go, pushing their height. Let's see. Mo Rolex, Anti Star, lasering four vitamins, and oh! Mo Rolex just got hit. For th 21, no, 31 off of high ground. Morulex pushing up to try and attack them. But getting lasered down once again. They cannot contest that height. They are stuck down on medium ground. It looks like they are pushing low. Oh, someone is on them. With a Riftio, this could be, this could secure them a win on high ground. If they pull this Riftio play off perfectly. Pulling another player up top. Let's see who is this. Oh, Mo Rolex decides. Never mind. I do not want to land. And Tiger Crusher, three kills, all in one Rift to go. It seems like Rift to goes are one of the top used items inside of this map right now. Let's see. Pushing the ground. How is this match going to work out? Oh, another. Oh, Sight Star has been knocked out by an SMG. Who will secure this victory? 
who's this? It looks like it's Rylan and Podzov. Let's see. Three players. Mo Rolex on the top with two slurfish. And I have no clue what the people below them have in their inventory. Let's see. Oh, 68 damage on Ryland. Ryland backs up a little bit into the storm, main, taking a lot of storm damage. Let's see. Mo Rolex securing his spot on high ground. Let's see. Are they going to rush Mo Rolex or are they going to stay down on low? It seems like they have a lot of heals because they use a tug splash. 36 on Ryland. Mo Rolex taking damage. Oh! Mo Rolex down with the Ryland Pazza duo taking the win. Six duos. Looks like P3PO has found himself a purple pump shotgun. Pushing tight. Let's see, where's he going? Egg roll destroying his campfire. Who is that up on height? Let's see. Oh, we can't see him. But all right, let's see this. P3PO and Egg roll going down, down to mid ground fighting. All right. Whoever that is on height sounds like a giant fall has just occurred. Four vitamins and golden both have just gotten attacked and murdered by four I mean by scythe pants. Let's see. What are P3PO and Scythe Egg Roll doing up on height with Mo Rolex and Star a little bit above them from what I can tell from their previous playstyles? Anonymous just eliminated Scythe Pants and Tiger Crusher is down with the count. All right, eight people alive left. Only two duos have been murdered or have been eliminated. Finding Rylan knocks down Mew Rocks. Oh, looks like Peter Joe may have almost killed his teammate right there with that stare. All right. Seven people left. It looks like we have a far rotation to go to. Looks like they're getting dropped down on. See, P3PO and Egg Roll both have. Oh, P3PO has. Oh, Egg Roll just got forced down on low ground. Someone with a grappler attacking his teammate. P3PO in the storm. Will P3PO be able to clutch this out and make it out alive? Egg Roll with the clutch of P3PO. P3PO going for that baller, maybe. What will they do with that baller sitting right behind them? Will they use it for their advantage? Or will they not? Ooh, future view with the campfire, both on pretty high mats. Let's see what is going on. Egg roll knocked out by storm with P3PO dropping down to the low ground. Five people remaining. Let's see. What are the teams? Five players remaining. Will P3PO be able to clutch this up for his team? Looks like there. Looks like P3PO is going down to the low ground. Here comes the. the he is forced back the other way with a very fast moving zone. Is that a baller right here? There's a baller being used on the low ground. I don't know how that is working out due to the fact that. Oh, here we go. Let's see which team will clutch this out and win overall. P3PO taking one. Oh, P3PO run. All right. Ryland knocked out by storm. Here we go. P3PO looking like he may clutch this up and get the win. Launch head right there. He doesn't go for it. 
Anonymous lost in the storm. So I start knocked out by storm. Everyone is getting knocked out by storm. All right. Oh no. Oh, but he goes around the build. Could this be it? 4P, 3PO? No, it is not. Oh no. He just may have eliminated. Never mind. Bro, he is insane. Who is that? Oh, Rolex with the shotgun shots. Oh, there is no way. Five, two, and one. Mo Rolex almost eliminating himself, but catching him with his floor. Four vitamins knocked out by fall. Very big in the game. 56 meters. Let's see. Mo Rolex falling down with his placed launch pad. Let's see. What are they planning to do? P3PO knocking Anonymous. More vitamins locked in the knocked out in the storm. Anonymous eliminating another Anonymous. A storm flip has been placed. Oh no. And someone just got murdered. Let's see. What is going on in this last battle? Side star knocked out with a rifle, finished with a rifle. And Mo Rolex trying to get some third party kills on height. Oh, will Mo Rolex clutch it up again? Rockets coming from the up above. Who is that? There is so much loot on the ground. Mo Rolex can heal for days down here. But the rockets keep raining down. Mo Rolex is dropping his SMG. I get those goosebumps every time. I need that. Rocketing himself and eliminating himself, giving Mo Rolex and Star another win. Alright. Let's see. Where's more Rolex going? More Rolex separated from his teammate, pushing. Who is this? Oh, 90 damage. Oh, and a laser. Mo Rolex almost dead right there. Well, he did not go for the shakedown. What is going on right now? This is super crazy. Tiger Crusher and Egg Roll both have eliminated two members of a different team. Let's go see how Psy Star is doing. Psy Star is down for the count with Tiger Crusher eliminating Rubio. Mo Rolex eliminating Egg Roll. Mo Rolex taking seven storm damage. Not a lot, but it could be a lot in the future. Rolex trapping himself in storm. I don't know what he's trying to accomplish right now, but it may be working. Oh, Mo Rolex just got surprise attacked by whoever that is. Ooh, Mo Rolex trapped in storm, rotating 30 HP down. Let's see, six people still alive. Oh no. Mo Rolex down and stuck on the- Oh! Mo Rolex about to go down! Mo Rolex almost down to the count. Who is that? Who is that? Will they win is the real question. No. This is it. For four vitamins. Mo Rolex, 19 HP, campfires. But will this campfire make it worth it? Starts running the storm, running the circle. Let's see. Now, who are the other four people above him? Someone is just throwing a storm flip. 
Oh no, this is bad. It's basically an inverted storm, but you have no clue where the storm flip is because of the hectic boundaries. But we're like in the storm. Will he be able to make it out of there alive? 31 HP with no heals. Rolex trapped by this. Let's see what is going on. <laughs> Mo Rolex getting a little scared because of the people editing all above him. Mo Rolex taking 10 more damage from Storm. And the Storm pushing the other way. Mo Rolex dead to Storm. <laughs> Who is this? Tiger Crusher and. Side pants, a new face in the end game scene. Not going to last. Oh, but the storm switch saves him. Will this mean anything though? Or will he dead to storm? Who wins? Oh, some new faces in the end game. Let's see. All right, and for the qualifications, in first with six wins, Mo Rolex and Scythe Star with a total of 14 eliminations. Next, in second, we have Anonymous and Rylan with two wins and a total of 14 eliminations. In third, with a total of one win and seven eliminations. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, I'm sorry, that's the wrong that's the wrong thing. We tied. Yeah, you guys tied. But with yeah, the but, uh, with the current standings of eliminations to elimination things, it appears that Mew Rocks and Anonymous are the third place winners and will have a chance to and have a chance to compete in the next qualifiers with a total of 23 kills. The highest out of everyone in this lobby. We qualified! Yes! Alright, thank y'all. Alright, what's up y'all? I'm here with Star and Mo Rolex, the winners of Raze's tournament qualifiers session one. So, how did y'all do it? Uh, well, not gonna lie, I think our strategy involved basically playing smart. Now, we saw some people were more aggressive towards the beginning, so we let their aggression get them killed, so that way we could be left with one or two squads, and then after that, we would either heal up, heal we would either play the heal game, or there were times where we just decided to push, as you can see in rounds, I think, one and two, we pushed instantly as soon as they were very low, so... Or yeah, we had like one person push in and the other person played the whole heal game on top of high. Yeah, I did see y'all do that. Alright, do so y'all have any words for anything, anyone that's looking to qualify in these next couple tournaments? I'd say to qualify, I'm, I'm you know, depending play smart, on how not this aggro. Is, play smart, however, if there's um points for kills now, which is what I'm hearing, you do have to get a little more kills than we did, I believe. I think 14's okay, but I don't know if that's going to yeah, be that was, qualifying. That was one of the top, yeah, getting, that was yeah. the top yeah. kill Yeah, we have uh, fragged out in the end. Hello, everyone. Alright, so I am here with Podzuff <laughs> and Rylan, the... Or Gavin, he's on his brother's account, but the two winners, or the two second place winners of Raises tournaments. So, how did y'all do it? Well, um, we basically, we played ourselves, and we stayed at the bottom, we waited, we played placement, and then Rylum carried me to the dub. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Alright, so do y'all have any tips for any, any people looking to join this tournament and hopefully win? Rylan, you talk. Try to just, I don't know really, just don't take it so competitively, just act like it's fun, because it is fun. Alright, that's what I like to hear, yeah. some po yep. fun, positive vibes. Yep. Alright, so, Pods, if you have anything else you want to say? Um, I can't wait for the next one, honestly, man, that was, that was a good time, we just had fun, we just chilled, uh, Good tournament, try to help me get better, and uh, I mean, I was grateful I got to have, be a part of the opportunity. 
All right, thank you. All right, I'll see you in a little bit or next time. All right, so I'm here with Baseball for Hello. Life. He is the person that placed third with his teammate, uh, Vormu. Vormu couldn't make it to this because I think he had to go. But, so, how did you do it? Sorry, you <laughs> just lagged out for me. <laughs> oh, how did you, uh, how did you, uh, get the, get the dub, or somewhat of the dub? Well, pretty much, so, our plan wasn't working at first, so we moved to middle ground, and that's really how we did it, because we won in middle ground, staying on high ground where no one else was, and we yeah. couldn't get trapped by bills. It will seem to have worked, because you guys got, like, 23 kills or something like that in total. The record for Reyes' tournament right now. <laughs> yeah, I got most of them by throwing like tw two drunk drunk. I wrists. know. I heard them like, like every the other smallest second. day. <laughs> I know. Cause I would like see like three people get eliminated in the chat from the junk wrist. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's like four people that drop down. Me and my teammate, me, you just sprayed them. I shot them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, thank you for your time. Alright, thank you. See ya. Today is my day. It's my day. And no matter what they say, it's my day. La 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 la. Yeah. Roll up to the spot, feeling real 